very good evening to grassroots leaders, friends uh, from our unit, and of course, uh, new citizens in our midst, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm indeed honoured to join you here today at the very special citizenship ceremony that we hold uh, every so often, uh, particularly as you start a new chapter in your lives as Singaporeans. Today is a special occasion. Uh, there are about 130 of you receiving your formal recognition as Singapore citizens today. I'd like to congratulate you for choosing Singapore as your home. We in Singapore have our roots as an immigrant society and we have always welcomed a diversity of talent and skills towards our growth and progress. We have a unique Singaporean identity with our unique blend of cultures, values and social norms. Our Singaporean family is one of great diversity with people from many races, religions and languages working together, living together for a better common future together. Our security, social stability and economic success are in a large part a result of the harmonious relationships that we enjoy between our different races. Now, being a new Singapore citizen carries with it responsibilities to the community and country. Integration and settling in are a long-term process requiring much effort and commitment. Let me just recount a personal example. Both my parents migrated here from southern China in pursuit of a better life. Likewise, many other like-minded immigrants from India and other parts of China descended onto Singapore. Well, I can well imagine what it must have been like for my parents at that time. Coming to a foreign land, meeting with people who spoke and dressed differently, and having to survive economically with minimal education. But the common dream of a better future united these very diverse clusters of new Singaporeans. It was a vision strong enough for their racial and religious differences not to matter too much, and in fact to be shared and enjoyed. This was not to say that such differences were trivial, in fact, they did lead to major unrest when emotions were ignited. Integration did and does not happen by accident. I recall my parents happily picking up a smattering of Malay and even Tamil so as to converse with fellow workers and neighbours. Local residents extended their warmth in many ways through food and looking out for each other's children in the kampong. It takes two to tango. Both immigrants and residents had to act in good faith and to embrace each other, united by a common national identity and, of course, destiny. It is no different today. Therefore, for a start, I will encourage all of you to get to know your neighbours better as you are now part of the same big family. Participate actively in the different activities and programs organised by your local community-based organisations, such as the residence committees, for those of you who are living in the HDB flats, neighbourhood committees, for those of you who are living in the private estates, and also by the citizens' consultative committees who look after the constituencies. The grassroots leaders present here today will be happy to share with you more information on our programmes and activities. To play a part, you must embrace Singapore society. Some of you may send your children to mainstream schools. Yet others may want to offer your time and talent by contributing to the community as volunteers. As you immerse yourselves in our, in our culture and foster friendships, you will discover common interests with fellow Singaporeans even as you embark on your new lives and sink your roots here. By choosing to take up Singapore citizenship, you have shown your commitment in taking up the worthwhile task of nation building. Active citizenship means that every citizen has a stake in making Singapore our best home. 
for now and for our future generations. You and your families can now contribute towards making Singapore a vibrant society, one that gives equal opportunities to all. In closing, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you as new members of the Singapore family. I will continue to remind older members of the family that they play a key role in ensuring your integration as well. So may I end by wishing all of you and your families every success in your future here as well as a happy new year. Thank you.